So is coffee a diuretic and can it lead to dehydration? And the answer is it depends. If you are someone that consumes three cups of coffee within a fairly short period of time, within about two hours, then yes, it can significantly increase diuresis and can potentially lead to dehydration. But if you're someone that only consumes one or two cups of coffee, then it will not probably have a significant enough diuretic effect to lead to dehydration. However, coffee does cause electrolyte loss as well, so I'll cover that um, a little bit later in this video. So basically, three cups of coffee will increase total urine production and total water loss out the urine by about 12 and a half ounces, so or about 370 mLs, okay, which is about like one and a half, eight ounce uh, cups of water. So that won't be a problem in someone that, let's say, is consuming two and a half liters of fluid or more per day, typically. We're not, not talking about sweat losses or people that are losing a lot of water through sweat. So like the normal sedentary person, as long as they're consuming, you know, somewhere around 2.3 to 2.5 liters of total fluid, that probably won't be um, a problem. But if you're someone that's only consuming two liters of total fluid and three cups of coffee, is making up that amount of fluid, then that can actually lead to dehydration. Now, coffee is also a uh, electrolyte waster. It will increase the need for salt, potassium, and other th uh, nutrients as well. So for every four cups of coffee, you will lose an extra 1200 milligrams of sodium, which is a half a teaspoon of salt. So keep that in mind as well. So if you're someone that only consumes two cups of coffee, you may not have to worry about the, the water loss, but you will increase the loss of sodium by 600 milligrams if you consume two cups of coffee. So keep that in mind, which is uh, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt uh, is lost out the urine for every two cups of coffee, okay? So just to kind of recap, if you consume three cups of coffee within a fairly short period of time, there is a significant increase in diuresis of about 12 and a half ounces. Um, and that will also occur if you do that again, if let's say four hours later, you consume another one extra large coffee, which is 24 ounces or three, eight ounce cups of coffee, then that will cause another, uh, about 12 and a half ounce fluid loss. So keep that in mind. Two cups or less doesn't seem to have a significant diuretic effect, but it will have a significant loss in salt, sodium, and chloride. Now, coffee will also cause an increased loss of potassium. So for every three cups of coffee, you will lose about 225 milligrams of potassium. So if you consume six cups, you lose 550 milligrams of potassium. Now, keep in mind that potassium's bioavailability in the diet is 85%. So to regain 550 milligrams back, you would actually have to consume 650 milligrams of potassium through the diet. Coffee also increases the loss of taurine, which is an amino acid that has antioxidant effects and that has uh, uh, it's important for our eye health because uh, taurine is reabsorbed at the kidney level along with sodium. So by coffee kicking out sodium, it's going to also kick out taurine. So I take about one to two grams of taurine and that is helps with uh, eye health. It has antioxidant effects and it's also good for athletic performance. Now, coffee will also reduce the absorption of certain nutrients like vitamin B1, or th which is also called thiamine, because it breaks open the thiazole ring and it will inactivate thiamine, but also it reduces the absorption of thiamine. So spacing coffee out by a few hours from the vitamin B1 is important, as well as iron, because coffee will reduce non-heme iron absorption. So if you're someone who consumes coffee, it is important to increase electrolyte intake, particularly salt, but also potassium. A little bit more of calcium and magnesium will be needed, somewhere around the 15 milligram of magnesium range, and, and same thing probably for calcium, so not a huge deal when it comes to calcium and magnesium. But the more coffee you consume, the more salt and fluids and electrolytes you will need.